Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO. And I'm here with the lovely, amazing official, Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing. You know, my dad walk on. I want y'all to stop what you're doing. Go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. I mean, our Facebook or TikTok or Snapchat or Instagram. You name it, we're on it. Check out our Patreon, too. That's where you see all our full-length interviews before all the clippings start. But also on our YouTube membership. Y'all say you love our brand, you love what we do? Go ahead and support the brand because we will support you, too. So go ahead and support us. Man, hey, man, we got a guy in here today, y'all. This is my repeat, my repeat, repeat, repeat. That boy Chris Sko is in the building, man. Go watch that boy Sko. Yeah, Let's yeah. go. Hey, I'm in the building, man. I am king of the live stream. You did? When it comes to Dallas, look, 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 when, look you know, uh, when it comes to Dallas, man, you know, you know what, forget Dallas. YouTube, period. Bro, I'm the king of the live stream, bro. You know, we don't break the news. We just break the news down. It's your boy, Just Say No to Sco. Oh, yeah. Salute to the Boss Talk 101. I'm in the building, man. What's good, bro? Man, nothing, man. Nothing, but, nothing going on but the rent. Mm. Mm-hmm. It was a song you used to say that uh-huh. you got to have a J-O-B if you want to be Who with E. Who that? I don't even know. <laughs> but I pull it up and, and, and give her some shine. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We're going to bring her back. We can get on the show. Okay. Talk about what she's been through. Man, so what's going What's up, man? I mean, everything in the city been going down, man. You know, uh, I had Rainwater on here. Uh-uh. And Rainwater said, and it's coming out tomorrow, he say, did... Did we take a L? Did Texas take a L? You know, Charlo brother yeah. got slapped. Yeah. Then you know, my boy Spence he lost yeah. his, every belt, all of them. Yeah, they they all gone. People think he gave them back too. That nigga did not give them belts back. I but heard that rumor. They, that's not true. What happens in boxing is, is that you give them the physical belts back, but they just put them in their trophy case. They can't come out with them no more. So oh. that nigga don't got no belts. <laughs> yeah, he butt oh. naked out here. Earl Spence oh, okay. is butt naked. But you know what? Hey, I'm gonna say this. Earl is Dallas. You feel me? We rock with Dallas. But at the same time, man, I feel like there's a lot of niggas crying over the fact that he lost, fam. You know, yeah. I know a lot of niggas in Dallas that's from Dallas that don't even rock with the Cowboys. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So I don't yeah. want to hear that shit. You know, you rock with who you rock with. Now, I'm going to say this, man. Earl Spence, hey, he a good fighter, great fighter. Uh, I want to see Dallas win. I wanted to see Dallas win. But when it comes to uh, Bud, man, that nigga country-ass Omaha nigga, man, come on. Man, everybody come on, man. Everybody that, man. Come everybody on, man. man. Ain't nothing else to do but Bud. Bud put them hands on. I'm going to say this. If it was about money, I'm going with Bud. If it was about Dallas, man, I want to see Dallas win. I wanted to see Earl win. But a nigga say, hey, bro, if you had to put 10 bands, 20 bands on it, man, I'm going with that black-ass Omaha nigga all day. But you I like going, it, it, from the jump. Bro, that nigga got a dingy wife beater on underneath his shirt wherever you go. You can tell he want them dingy wife beater ass. Just come out of his uh, shirt and just whoop your ass. That's he ain't that, tripping. That's a, that's a country uh, back alley nigga, fam. But I like the way how you say the Cowboys going. I think about that. He yes. Dallas, and no matter how much his Cowboys keep losing, everybody keeps supporting him no matter what, even if they bet. Hold on. This is what they I They keep say. supporting him. Hold on. It's a lot of people, though, I feel like this from Dallas. And they don't support the Cowboys, too. You know what I mean? Niggas that I met this from here every time I'm a San Francisco 49er yeah. fan. Oh, I'm a still a fan. Talk about the Talk about pull-up in the middle. Oh, no, but there's a lot of people here who still support Dallas. Yeah, I do. I do. I support okay, Dallas. Straight up supporting Dallas. And there's a lot of people out of know? town who support them, too. Yeah, yes, with the Memphis. they're yeah. America's team, according to them. So... I support I, I, Earl. I, I felt the kind of way when, when I seen Earl go down. I felt the way, bro. I ain't finna sit there and lie to y'all. Like, because he's never. That no, because cause, cause I'm in Dallas and I know, and I already was thinking about the Charlo slap, and I'm like, yeah. man, this man. shit going bad fast, bro. Man, your Texas most definitely took some A's. But he can Vegas. come back, though. Yeah, but the this, next fight. Yeah, but nah. we, we, we yeah, but we gotta. You we don't gotta, think he's nah, gonna come back I, I the next fight? Uh, do, do he gotta fight. fight in December. Please, please, it's on please, please. Do, don't fight Crawford again. That's right. Gotta fight. That's Get coming it. up. Big X the plug, yellow beezy, trap boy, Freddy. Somebody bring that nigga a pistol to the fight, please. Throw a gun in the ring, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> so, trap boy, Freddy, throw a gun in the ring. Don't <laughs> fight that nigga again, yeah, fam. You don't think he, he, he ain't nah, going go up to one fifty four? Okay, think about this. We seen Deontay Wilder do the same shit. Him and the white boy had a draw. They fought again. He knocked Deontay Wilder. Man, his towel through his corner through the towel in. They let him fight that white boy again. He damn near killed that nigga. Man, I, I do think, not fight I, I Bud again. I don't think do you, Earl fought his best fight at all. Do you think, do you think nigga, the fam. wreck had anything to do with the way he fought? Um, The wreck? Yes. You talking about when Mo 3 was chasing that nigga? Is this a no nah, thing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you niggas are losing that. I about to say, I don't know about that. Boy, them niggas went crazy with that one on that yeah. camera. And I was going to shout out camera on them about that. Yeah. I said, what them niggas talking about? 
They ain't got no bit of talking about that, but it wasn't Cameron. It was uh, it was Mason Cameron. Mason, yeah, it was Mason, Mason that brought it up, and he started. It was. I was like, what these niggas? But talking is there about? any proof of that though? No, but what these niggas? I, you know where I'm coming yeah, from. Yeah. What they, what they say? Because they're not from here. Yeah. yeah what you don't know? I know what you say. I know what you say. I mean, I'm gonna say this. In the video, you see Earl Carr flip, we go crazy. Then you see a little go watch the video. You see like a little car, a little you know, me creeping at the end, and somebody just by itself. But can you right see up. who's in the car? You can't see. You can't even see the make of the car or who in the car. So really. why would everybody think it's him? It's a, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's a mystery. They say I was the they say that was hey, Osama. Uh, no, but why they say that was Osama out there, right? I mean, uh, but why yeah. would they put his name along with that if they couldn't see who it was? Uh, I don't know. That's what I'm trying. That's why you know it just, it just, shit come out of nowhere. But I mean, some people saying they know for a fact. I don't know, man. It, it, I mean, they know it. To I me, do the I only way you can know not. for a fact is if you was that person in the car with him. That's the only way you could know it for a fact. They say that was Mo3. They say Mo3 flipped that motherfucker. They say, mm -hmm. man, is that true? Of course, probably not. You did, but it just shows you yeah. the internet is, right? The internet crazy. They're crazy. Doing crazy. This, the blogging world, man, they done made up stuff. They, put, they done put stuff on me or other people. Bro, wait, wait a minute. When you came here last time, I went through pretty <laughs> hell, nigga. Like, I don't know who this nigga was. I don't even want to, look, I don't want no smoke. I'm, I'm just yep. a regular dude doing that interviews. That was the next day we found that this out. This nigga yep. had my whole face on the screen. Yeah, bro. And then he careful. pulled you up right yeah. behind. Oh, yeah. These niggas is, they, I don't know what you doing over there. Yeah. I don't, I ain't never been on your show, right? Mm -hmm. They like, you got this killer over there. You got that. I'm like, what the hell are they yeah, talking man. about? They done put murder on me a couple times, man. But you know? why? Man, bro, they done put, they say, I mean, they, they say I had something to do with the murder of Young Dolph. I heard that's what it was. He was, yeah, man, yeah. I, I forgot. The nigga even tried to call me and all kind of crazy yeah. weird stuff. With bro. all the people on the phone, too. Yeah, I'm, trying to, I'm like, what is this? I don't, I'm not. Look, I'm going to say this. These motherfuckers crazy, man. You feel me? The internet is full of weirdo. I found out most people that's on YouTube, niggas that got channels, I'm the only normal nigga. Everybody nah, else is nigga, fucked I'm up. Nah, I'm normal, too. Nah, 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 I'm talking about live stream. I'm saying okay, the live stream. The live stream. Yeah, the live stream niggas. Oh, they, weird, they be wild, man. man. Them niggas But how weird. many live stream um, oh, platforms in Dallas? Um, I, I know I'm number one. Okay, I don't know who else do it because I shit on everybody else. I'm the best to do it by far when it comes to going live. Hard, there ain't, nobody, ain't nobody else fucking with me. And, I'm, I'm, and I'm the hardest podcaster by far. Ain't no other podcast. Oh, nigga. You by go far. hard, fam. Your shit go you hard. You're gonna say it by far. By far, yeah. yeah. <laughs> nigga, I done put this work in. I'm gonna say that you got the, you the only nigga got the real setup that's like this. That's what I'm the telling real, you. The real deal podcast feel. And I don't because that's the one thing I told him one day. I was like, you know, everybody keep comparing all these different platforms. Yeah. And, but we keep saying podcast, so I had to stop him and say, okay, let's look up the definition of a podcast and to get this clear. So. And if you not... Uploading your stuff to Apple, Google, all it's these other shit. All right, but people yeah. always call their stuff podcast, but we put it on every streaming platform. If you're not doing Everywhere. that, this is you a can't podcast. be that category. Oh, that's why you said that. I think it's the only thing we think about when we think of podcast in Dallas, to be honest. I think it's the only podcast we really, everybody else got a show. You know how you say, right. man, your audio crisp. It's yeah. crisp for a reason because it got to be on a place where nobody's going to see, see us. You. It's going to hear you talking. Yeah, yeah. So that's the, all that got to be popping and ticking yeah. and talking. Yeah, now y'all shit set up uh, hard, man. Hard. I, mean, I ain't gonna lie, I'm thinking about stealing this whole setup, man. man. I mean, I'm, gonna <laughs> <long> <laughs> I'm finna steal this shit. You know? Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. No, nah, but I just, I just know that, man. Whenever you, you got some loyal people that love you, oh, man. Yeah. Mm. And yeah. when I, when I post you, bro, it, them comments gonna go crazy. I don't care if I get this many views or that many views. If somebody gonna check in, man, just Skull say gang. no. Let's go, Skull Skull gang. Gang. Skull gang. Gang. Gang, bro. Go, yeah. We know I got, you know, I got other channels too. If y'all don't know, but how got, did you build it up like man, that? Man, I built it up with. I started with a bunch of black women. You feel me? Black yeah. women all came. My show, they thought I was cute and shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. They came to the show and they start wanting their own shows too. So what I do, I support them. I say, you know what? I'm gonna tell my chat to start rocking with y'all. They say, I know I got about 20 shows, 20 females. They going hard. They got lives. They go in. They fight. One of the two of the girls just actually fought on you on a live what? the other day. That hoe went crazy, man. Bro, I'm talking about met Fist each other, fight. met each other outside in the urban and threw them hands in front of the world. Everybody watched. Who won? Did it? Um, I'm gonna say it was a I'm gonna say it was a, a, a unfair beatdown. That's what I'm gonna say. I'm oh, saying yeah. Yeah. Oh. it started out one on one and oh. it went about four on one. Oh. And Skull Gang walked away with the with the W. You know what I mean? Wow. Yeah, that, oh, that's damn, unfortunate. That's, a, wow. that's unfortunate. Skull you know Gang I mean? walked away yeah. with the W. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Skull Gang too wild, man. You can't let us outside, man. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. Hey, a win is a win. You feel me? So man. Yeah, it is what it is, man. man. You know, I, you know, you 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 know. I gotta ask you this because you live by that code, mm -hmm. man. Boosie got mad at at, at the boy Kodak yeah. behind behind him doing a song with six six nine six mm -hmm. nine yeah. Takashi, mm -hmm. but it. The million dollar thing, it, it complicated things. He he went on and got that meal ticket. I mean, what do you do in that situation? I get my million. 
Bro, I ain't told on nobody. That's like they say, <laughs> look, look. This is they say Miss Jamaica, Miss Snitches. Over, right? They the flock together. Oh, no, no. Check this out, though. Let's say they say Miss Jamaica, Miss okay. Min- Min- Snitching. Okay. Miss Jamaica want to do a song with me. Okay. Shit, I ain't told on nobody. My name no no document, no dockets. I have nothing to do with nothing. This is business. I'm getting my million. You feel me? Like you walking away with. I'm getting my bro. This is one thing, Cass. First of all, Boosie, you too old to be worried about them young niggas got going on anyway, my nigga. You too old, and he got a pistol case. From being on uh, from being on Instagram Live, Boosie should probably sit his ass down right now. People Boosie's been saying grow that lately. Yeah, Boosie looking like a child. He going out like a gangster no more. He's starting to look like a childish nigga. You all in these young cats business. You go live way too much, my nigga. This nigga live five, six times a day. Now do your business. If that's how you you know, handling things, do it. But Boosie's still trying to be a gangster. gangster. Bro, you're 40 plus years old, bro. It's time to sit down. You got kids out here, my nigga. Quit worrying about being this super thugged out street nigga. God bless your bitch ass. And let you make it off death row, right or wrong. <laughs> God, real. Right, right. That's God real. took you off lie. death row, I, nigga. I, and you out here still playing like this, nigga. Go sit down, Boosie. We rock with you. We fuck with let Boosie. Let me tell you something, man. But I wanna, I wanna say this too. Dude. I don't know if Rain told you this yesterday. But you know, uh, uh, Boosie wanna be taking off Mo3 music. He don't wanna be on Mo3 music no more. Because of guys. Because of Young Blue and the Gazi yeah. situation. You know what I mean? That's to me, that's some. I'm he didn't like, tell us that he wanted to be taken off. He just said that. Um, what they going? What things. they have going on is messing up his stuff. Yeah, but, but what it exactly what's messing up exactly what it is is the fact that now Boosie is saying I don't want to be on nothing involved with Empire. It ain't got nothing, it's not necessarily Mo Three. It's Empire. Mm. Really? So now uh, Boosie is on a record or two on a new Mo Three album, mm. and then they gotta take him off. I'm guessing after already fighting for the album. Remember, Rain was already fighting to get this shit out there. And now we can you just hold it back to hope that, that they get cool one day and yeah. be like, okay, we can put it out now? That, that ain't real, man. With Mo3 being dead like that, me knowing his family trying to eat, you know what I mean? I right. almost definitely be like, you know what? Y'all go ahead and put that out, man. That's that's for my partner legacy. Mm-hmm. But, you know what I mean? Like I said, I can't tell a nigga what to do. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah, he ain't, you know what I mean? So, I mean, we rock with Boosie. Dallas got nothing but love for Boosie. Mo3 people love Boosie. You feel me? Mo3 family rock with Boosie. We hoping to have yeah. Boosie at the next Mo3 day. You know what I mean? So... Everybody rock with him, bro, but Boo got to grow up a little bit. I, I tell him, come on my platform, I'm going to tell you, Boosie. Bro, bro it's time to grow up platform. a little bit. You hell on wheels, Yeah, bro. we hell over there, fam. We got to keep it 100, listen, though. man, listen, I'm, I'm going to tell you, Sko, man, like, like I, I mean, I see, you need, you. I don't know if you've seen the episode where Pippin Ken went off on Vlad because he mentioned, yeah, yeah. you know, he mentioned he mentioned his name to Boosie and, 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 and he was trying to boycott Vlad because of the whole situation of Boosie being locked up. Yeah. It was some crazy, when I was in ATL interviewing him. So, you know, a lot of times people give the journalists the, a, a rough, you know, a rough time. What do you think about like like the Vlads and the no jumpers being that they not, they don't look like us, but they report on us. It's, What's just, up? it's no different from the police. Oh, they, they, man, they talk to them just like, think about it. When a white man, I'm gonna say this, man. You know, I'm, this, this is my this is this is my go to scenario right here. If you look out your window, right, and you see a nigga standing next standing next to your truck, you gonna say, "Man, get the pistol, fam." It's a nigga truck. If you look out the window, you see a white man sitting next to your truck. You gonna say, "Man, I think the goddamn police have to run my insurance there." But, but niggas look at white people like the authority and like niggas like a threat. You feel me? So when they go to Vlad and no jumper, anything them white boys ask is a go. They gonna feel like, "Oh, well, maybe they didn't know no better. They not from the culture." White boys can ask these niggas whatever. What about the other one? What's his name? Bootleg kid. Bootleg kid. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Same thing. Same thing. White boys can ask niggas whatever. Niggas are answering. But let me. I ask was the hurt right behind a few interviews. They got that I felt like I was supposed to got white boys. They oh, ran yeah. and ran up there ran to, right to the white boys. The white yep. boys they run right to the I white boys every time. I'm with them, but I'm like, damn, man, man. fuck them white boys. No, I'm dog. talking about the dudes that ran to them. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, fuck them niggas too. Fuck them niggas and fuck them white boys, bro. Because at the end of the day, this culture was made for us. We built this shit, and then we got to watch these white boys get all the interviews and shit. We watched 1090 Jake and what he do. Yeah, nobody ain't doing shit, man. These white boys are running shit right now. Niggas are too afraid to say anything. Thing. No Jumper, Adam 22 got a bunch of dirty ass gang bangers that hang around uh, No Jumper all day and they don't mm-hmm. care. They yeah. protect them, they do whatever just because they want clout and views. White boys are running hip hop right now like they've been doing. Man. You feel me? Well, I'm from Dallas where Post Malone run shit. Vanilla Ice Damn. is throwing more records than these niggas out here. White boys are running the, the, the blogging world, bro. Because like I said, niggas are too afraid to say anything real to white boys. You feel me? Like, far as checking them. Like, nah, man, I'm not saying that shit. Yeah. Don't ask me that shit. But they then, won't even say that. Bro, let it, let me ask the shit Vlad asked. Man, Boosie better stood up and ended that shit. Nigga, fuck you, red ass nigga. Bro, I'm telling you, bro, something about these niggas and these white boys. I don't know if it's some gay shit going on, some behind the scenes, some that's, Illuminati shit. But when you shit. ask stuff like that, they say, it's that's just black on black um, hate. We just don't Self-hatred. like it. That's what they say. That's what a lot of people say. We always ask, why is this like how it is? Yeah. And it says, because black doesn't hate on blacks. 
Yeah, I just a few niggas I don't like, so I understand. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah, I'm mad for to be honest with you. Only the people I don't like is a few bunch of niggas. You know what I'm talking about? See? Yeah, and the reason I say it is, though, I say it because, see, ain't no white people doing shit to me. No, Besides I try, Look, they robbing me every day, but at least they doing it the, <laughs> the corporate way. Yeah. A nigga be done ran up on me and put a pistol on me. No, that's mm-hmm. real. That's yeah, real. Yeah, so, man. So, I mean, do you think that when you when you look at how the things lay out, man, like, a lot of time, man, we we got this whole scenario where we could take this thing mm-hmm. and really report real news for our people, yeah. man. It's it's free. It's right here, and these niggas don't even want to run up to it. They run in from it. Yeah, like they and and I get it. Niggas done hurt niggas. I get it. But what about when you see solid ones out here doing good stuff, trying to figure out how to do this whole thing from a right perspective, independently trying to rep our people? It's crazy to me that they can't see that, bro. Nah, I, don't, I mean. You know, that's that's why I be getting on some wild shit online. That's why I just keep it, you know what I mean? Just keep it, my show is fucked up. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm be, <laughs> my show is fucked up. And I'm going to keep it like that, fam. Because, you know, I, I got to be honest every night. And when I'm lighting that good gas up, you know me, every night, roll that Reggie up. I'm smoking number big Reggie over there. Roll, it, roll the Man. Reggie up. And let's, let's turn up. Let's talk for real. I'm not holding back. I want to ask you about Jamie Foxx, man, because he popped out, you know, man. for that show. For his show, I come thought, on, fam. I've been, I've been worried about Jamie. I wouldn't worry about no, that. No, I nigga, was man. when it happened. Like I'm like, they gonna kill the nigga, yeah, man. Is he yeah. dead? That like, terror Texas ass nigga. I, look, I, I feel like <laughs> we love Jamie Foxx, and he's very talented. <laughs> no, we don't go no, 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 we do. We love Jamie. He can't go nowhere, we love man. Jamie. I want to know was it a game? It was happened? a joke, fam. Y'all didn't see the. It was a. It was all a scheme. It was a PR stunt. It was great. It was his genius. Whole, he's talking his whole sickness, sickness, and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, stop, you, you bro. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. No. The whole, it was I whole, don't believe that. It was that. a PR stunt. I don't believe that. How the hell you come up with that, man? Because I was hurt, no. man. Hold I mean, on. Before you say ahead, that, ahead, one, thing, one thing I've always growing up, always, they've always told me, older people always say, you don't lie on certain things. Mm-hmm. You don't, don't lie, lie on death, certain things. Sicknesses and death and shit. You don't play but with But you niggas call in sick at work all the time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Come on now. Come on. See? Yeah. Let me tell you what happened. Now, Jamie Foxx was missing for about two months, right? About a couple months we couldn't yeah. find a nigga. Yeah, niggas saying he was dead. Bro, that nigga, bro, they finished the movie, man. They finished a movie, and I think that they nigga... They had a stunt double the nigga, in there, bro. Yeah, the, nigga, the stunt double was, was just finishing up the parts that he needed to finish up. Right. The Jamie Foxx, I don't know if that nigga went on vacation or what he went did, but Foxx wouldn't just sit down somewhere. Now, remember, they put out reports about this nigga. He's sick. One minute he's sick, next minute he's blind. The next minute the nigga crippled and shit. I knew they was lying right then and there. His daughter came out and remember his his daughter, his child, said that nigga was playing pickleball the other day. Fuck yeah. y'all talking about? She slipped up. She slipped up and said that nigga was just playing pickleball. Fuck y'all talking about? The next day they came and said, Nah, we heard the nigga blind again. They was doing that shit for that they cloned Tyrone movie. You notice that Jamie Foxx would not put an official statement out about his sickness until what day? When July twenty first, the, movie, yeah, yeah, the when, Netflix premiere the of They Clone man, Tyrone. Was upset, man. Yeah, he talking about niggas talking about. Oh, I heard these people even said I got cloned. Nigga, come on, man. And then he did this, and the movie is all right. Y'all seen it? I seen it. The movie is all right. It ain't that because the first forty five minutes was decent. The first thirty minutes after why I got to fall asleep on that shit. You know what I mean? Because the, the the plot guy. I'm fuck. I'm telling the movie on this bitch. When they at, <laughs> at the end, when, when when the nigga pretended like he got shot, he really that shit was dumb, man. It started, yeah, it started to get dumb at what the end. What about the man. elevator? It didn't surprise you when they went up in there and the white. Got, got killed. Nah, like, yeah, all that shit was creative, but dumb. I mean, I mean it was all creative. I it kept was, it getting was, mad because the nigga kept coming back. Yeah, that shit was man. It was kind of like a ground, like a hood groundhog day. Yeah. That shit. Yeah. So yeah, man. I mean, my hats off to the producers whoever made it. It was kind of creative and shit like that. But I would have did a lot, a lot of things different. Man. I would have most definitely pl- paid attention to more products that they was putting in the black community. You know, they was doing the hair, the hair shit, and the chicken and all that. Right. I would have focused on more. Like they should have touched them goddamn black and miles. Yeah, yeah. 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 If you niggas smoking them black and miles, that's the type of shit they put in shit. You know. You only see niggas smoke black and mouth. Uh-huh. Never see white boys. No, nah, they don't never smoke. Man, y'all better. I'm telling you, certain products certain that you know products. only niggas mess with. Black you know and miles is one of them. Black I used to smoke miles, them and yeah. I put the smoke through my, my nose. Yep, uh uh-uh. But yeah. it's the same thing with a clone movie. They show that it's mainly black people that they're experimenting on. Just yep. like when um, COVID came around and they were talking about getting the shot and stuff like that. I think something came out to say that they wanted uh, black people to go get the shot first. Yeah, yeah. So it's the same thing. Yeah, I, 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 why not? I mean, especially in the, in the poor community. You know what I mean? I mean, that's that that's, that seems don't that seem about right to go to the poor neighborhoods first and test out certain shit. Yeah, yeah, that that's, seems that's about right. right. If you ever know, you go to the poor side of towns. You know what I mean? You, you go to the grocery stores and to the place. Everything that yeah, shit be fucked up. Yeah, you know what I mean? So that's why I live where I live at. Trust me, I live in a nice part of you know, town. You trying to get the good yeah, stuff? Yeah, I'm trying to get the good shit because you know the food could be contaminated yep. in bad areas yeah, too, man. Yeah, but it's not even just that because I know some people who. Um, were quick to run to get 
what should I say, tested or experimented on because they know they're going to get some cash for it. Mm-hmm. You understand what I mean? Yeah. And they are black people. Yeah. I don't know about anybody white who's doing that. Yeah, that's fucked up, right? That's yeah, fucked it, up. No, it's crazy. But, but again, Jamie, though, for, for him to be, you know, he he 50 something, man. What is he doing? I know this man ain't sitting and play with me. My emotions were hurt, nigga. Right. I'm a Jamie fan, nigga. Hey, we ain't seen I put shit up a No yet, Weapons bro. Formed Against Us video. I was trying to make sure everything was right. He was, was, was worried. I was very worried. What? <laughs> I, I believe he was sick, I was though. praying for this nigga. You telling me this? I got still I'm still it. holding on to bro, it. I, I was really on one knee praying was. for this nigga, man. Man, bro. Bro, I was with this nigga. Like, I went to Terrell in front of his house, bro, on Bradshaw, bro. I'm serious. For, are you, he, he, man, I went down now. I'm trying to find out what's going on. Anybody in the neighborhood tell me something. I'm like, damn, man, what's up? Y'all know anything about Jay? I'm not going to lie. It's people behind the scenes that say they knew that nigga that was telling me stuff. Oh, bullshit. don't do this, I man. I swear to God. I swear. That nigga did me like I that? I swear. Man, yeah. I'm I, like, I, I, nigga, I, I don't know if this dude really knew him or not, but he was saying my mom is good friends with him. She's been on him for years. Fam, he's okay. There's nothing wrong with him. He was saying it calmly. Like, bro, y'all chill out. And they ain't sick or nothing like that. And what? I'm, like, so what you, I'm like, so what's wrong with him? He's like, I mean, I don't know, but he ain't sick. And I'm yeah, like, man, yeah, Jamie, all right, whatever. I'm like, Jamie, I'm let me say this, man. If this happened, man, get him a deal, man. I want to be a fan, but I can't. This is bull crap. Mm-hmm. I know this nigga lying. Sko is up in here telling lies on Boss Talk 101. Yep. Or, or is he telling the truth, man? Give me the spiel, because I'm going to put my video up right here. I was serious, bro. Yeah. So I thought something So you wrong. went to the nigga house and all kind of shit? Yeah, nigga, what did you think? I'm a fan, real. Like, he got a mute. Down, he got, what he got? He got there? a mural down there. All that's down, down in Jura, man. You I'm did a, a tear. You did a tear in the corner of your goddamn eyes cry. and shit. I you did cry. a trembling and shit. But I did play No Weapon when he was singing it. And I just was oh. like, damn, man. Jamie gone. Jamie gone. Damn. They never said he was dead, though. Nigga, you buried the yeah, nigga but, shit. But they did say but he was they, dead. They, they make it sound it. like he was, like, hanging on. It was gone. Okay, and now when you see him now, what he look like? Nigga look good. Nigga look good to the motherfucker. <laughs> bro. Nothing wrong. I said, bro, you don't go from hanging on to dear life. To looking like this, bro. It was nothing wrong with that nigga. He was laid up in the uh in the goddamn uh, Bahamas somewhere eating good, nigga. You know what I mean? It wasn't I wrong love, with that I'm nigga. loving the chain, but I'm a, I, I remember when you pulled the chain out, right? Uh-huh, yep. You were going to this event, mm-hmm. and and I was excited. I'm like, man, my boy going to this event. I heard Rainwater couldn't go. Yeah. They told him yeah. he couldn't go to the event. Mm-hmm. But then you end up going to the event. You go over here, it's a, a whole lot of wood shit. That's a whole my lot guy. Of woods. That's whole my lot guy. Of woods. <laughs> All right, that's him. That's my guy. He was yeah. up there. He was hurt behind yeah. this fight, man. Yeah. I'm watching him. Oh, that nigga's crying and yeah, shit. He, he was cried. like that done king. That nigga, that that nigga cried, fam. That shit hurt, man. Yeah, salute to my nigga Woods, man. Hurt, man. Yeah, Woody yeah, Woods a big Earl Spence fan. Yeah, he yeah. rocking the nigga. Salute to Woods, so, man. So, what I'm saying, he invites you to this get together. Mm-hmm. You and I think Charleston was there. I'm not for sure. Oh, we the headliners. You and Charleston. We the biggest faces on the flyers. Me versus Charleston White, nigga. Whole lot of Woods event. We in that thing versus the brand. Nah, 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 we couldn't get. Were we y'all can, gonna box? No, we we're gonna box. It was just far as just you know the two faces of the city when it comes to this internet shit. Okay. You know what I mean, the the, the, the per, nigga, hey, we, we on stage. Nigga, I'm supposed to be nervous. The faces of the city. You're right. You should have been there. Yeah, you, you, you you're right. You they gotta put all these damn videos hey, up. Say you should have been there, but you may tell you something. They didn't invite me. But you may tell you something. They knew for up. They know y'all history. They knew yeah. hey, you wasn't they gonna go. They, they skimming they, through it. They yeah. skimming it. They, you couldn't come, my nigga. Nah, 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 nigga, you don't fuck with each other. Oh my god, you're wrong, nigga. But so you get over here and 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 the girl girl V. I follow the girl her. V, yeah. I see y'all. You, you, Let's tell the truth, fam. Let's like, you remember the truth out there? Yeah. Let's tell the truth about it. All right, so uh, the girl V, her and, her and uh, Charleston White fell out, right? Okay. She was, she was doing some work for him, some publicist work. She come from Say Cheese TV. That's Sean yeah, Cotton girl. He still worked right, with her. Right, she still worked with him. So um, she started working with Charleston White. She already knew about the event because she was posting it. Remember, Charleston on the cover. So she posted it. She At the time, she's still working with him. They have a big fallout. He get online, talk about her kids or whatever, her son, and you know, some more That's shit. That's Charleston. Yeah, he, he he say that she she on dope. He could have fucked her. I mean, he you know, he, he talked bad about it, right? So I'm I'm seeing this, and I want to interview her, but I never got a chance to really chop it up with her. But I go to the Mo three karaoke event, and who's standing there? The O V, and who's with her? Oh, Rainwater. Who's my nigga Rainwater? <laughs> Rainwater. Yeah, Rainwater standing there. So me and Rain talking to her. Of course, they've been knowing each other. And I asked her, "Why you know you should came on my show?" She like, "Bet, uh, um, you know, you know, Rain had told me about it, blah, 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 blah. I said, "You know what? You going to hold a lot of woods event, right?" She said, "Nah, you know, Charles is gonna be there. We don't fuck around." Me and Rain looked at each other. I said, "You coming with me?" You did. Wow. You coming with us? <laughs> you coming with Skull Gang? Yeah. You yeah. gonna rock with me that night? You know what I mean? And like I said, Charleston White is the main nigga to play these games online. 
So I'm just doing what he taught me how to do. P- p- <laughs> poke at niggas. You know what I mean? Piss niggas off. That's what he do, right? He gets online. He do whatever. Any, it's no rules. So I said, fuck it. We're going to do it in person. Though. So he an online nigga. We're going to do it to his, we're gonna do it to the bitch ass nigga in person. <laughs> I pull up. First of all, I pull up. She not the only girl with me. I got 20 women with me, fam. 20? 20. 20. We cut through that bitch like celebrities. I ain't got security. I got, I mean, I got my, I got, I got, man, we come to that bitch about 30 deep. You know what I mean? About 30 people deep. You know what I mean? So, up in the VIP. In the VIP, got the whole stage, my nigga. So if you, if you in my way, get the fuck out the way. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, get the fuck out the way when I come through. We, we bobbing deep, fam. <laughs> you know, and, and, and these women with me, I'm talking about, I'm talking about drag some bitches, get in the way if you want to. You feel me? Yeah, so. So uh, we end up, we end up, we get there. We walk up. First nigga I see, I see a big black ass nigga cheesing from the stage. Old okay. Dewberry. Oh, old Dewberry. Okay. Yeah, I see okay. Dewberry. Dewberry see, oh girl, he see what's going on. Dewberry know we, it's all fun and game. We dap each other up. What's good, Dewberry? You know what I mean? Blah, blah, blah. But Charleston White over there not saying shit. Oh, Charleston White. Now he got a little chick in the cut. Well, he got a little side thing in the cut. You know what I mean? He, he, he in the cut with his little piece. But he done peeped, he done locked the eyes with OV. And y'all mobbing, y'all mobbing. We mobbing, we, like, nigga, we yeah. mobbing fam. He had to get the fuck out the way. Like, he had to stay in his little cone over there, but we too deep. Big Tuck started performing. We took over the stage, bro. Uh, Suit to my minds. They was over there having a good time. Tear. Man, Skull Gang, we, first of all, we run the Damn. internet when we come to them YouTube streets. We run the internet. So when you see us in person, yeah, we too deep, fam. No signs everywhere, bro. Yeah, nigga had the Charles White over there. That's that tear in the corner, that nigga. I ain't gonna lie to you. I seen a tear in the corner, that nigga. The nigga sitting over there, I mean, he kept cutting his eyes a little bitch, so. The girl V, I had to end up throwing V out. You kicked Why? out the VIP? I kicked V the fuck out, man. But she didn't go say nothing to him, did she? Yeah, nah, she didn't. But I gave her a warning, though. See, Jamaica, I warned her. Okay, she was, what did she, she do? She was with my girls, right? Okay. She, but I, after my turn around, she reckless eyeballing on Charleston White. She's looking at the cut eyes at the nigga. But it's not really like a, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a, she finna get over and attack him look. Like, she, like, she got tears built up in her goddamn eyes. She, she, go, she looking like she finna jump this rope any second and go whoop this nigga. I'm warning her. I'm like, hey, chill out. I see you. I'm telling her, I see you. I'm standing above her. I see you. Chill out. Quit looking over there. Next thing I know, I'm talking to somebody. I look up. She not even sitting in her seat no more. She at the rope where the nigga at damn there, standing there, damn there mug. I'm like, look. I tell her, hey. Tss. Got you, you, you know what I mean? Let's end, let's end this night. You got to go. Let's end this night, yeah. You know if mean? you want to be over there, you can leave and go. Right, right. You you got, yeah, because you if, you gonna, go. yeah, if you gonna be with Skull Gang, you with me, you represent with us. Now I want her to bring her camera and do what she usually do. That's you know, what do she her. was she trying to get. That's what I thought. But she was she there on some bitch, on some nah, nigga. I'm like, I came to but get Charles White. But she knew he was going to be there. Yeah, she knew. Yeah, remember she was promoting this event because she was still working with him when it first came out. So she knew he was gonna be there. But she's sitting over like I said, she was pissed. Remember he talked about a child. He said him and his son could have run a train. On her, yeah. all kind so of So let shit. me ask you a question. So when yeah. you kicked her out, mm-hmm. what did she do? She, did she go over there, try to fight him, argue with him, do anything? No, 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 no. no. She started going off on me. I, oh, I, she yeah. went off on yeah, you? Yeah, she did. A, she did a drive-by insult. I never seen nobody with a drive-by <laughs> insult. When, as we was leaving, what remember, is remember, that? I, I'm, I'm gonna show you how it goes. So remember, I got 20 black women with me, right? So she's not gonna get out the car and say nothing to no, nobody. No. But as she's driving by, the security guard told me, say, "Hey, man, the girl you threw out, she's she's two cars behind us." As we walking in the parking lot, he peeped everything. He like, she said, "Suit to my guy, uh, uh, Biggs." He was like, she, uh, he was like, she's two cars behind. I'm watching her, and she get close, and she say, "Fuck Skull Gang." She drove by your ass. She drove by you, dude. Yeah. Man, that's crazy, I man. I said, crazy ass girl. But, nah, but, but we cool. Me and V ain't got no beef. I, I mean, seen, we I chopped seen it up. On, on, uh, Mogul, Mogul Media, Media. Mm-hmm. and it was Surviving Charleston White. Yeah. They had a series going. Yeah. I ain't never seen nothing like this. Uh-huh. I was, salute to uh, Mogul Media for coming up with this whole the music and everything. This nigga, I thought I'm gonna watch a hell of a series, yeah. nigga. Yeah. It was like he had her and some other girl, and they were like Surviving Charleston White, and they were playing. He was playing, and I called nigga. I say, what happened to the episode, man? You did. They didn't. They didn't go with it. They, they decided not to do it. Yeah, see, I don't know. I, mean, I don't know. I think at one point in time, I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I think they still want to be cool with Charleston. I think that they they, they want. I think they want to go with them, but they don't. They don't really take it all the way. Now I seen oh girl, what's her name? Uh, uh um, Juanita. Yeah, the other girl. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I said, yeah, she I was said, on that now, series now, too. She done went off lately. I seen her online going off and shit. She didn't say she caught a police on Charles the other day. You know what I mean? She really? caught. She caught a yeah, law. Recently, yeah, recently she caught a police on him on live and said he threatening her. He doing. He making. You know, she want to do what he gonna do. She felt like he gonna yeah. call the law. So I'm gonna so call the law. Call, yeah, she's. I'm gonna beat this nigga. I'm gonna beat the nigga. It's gonna be crazy. crazy. Yeah, so you know what I mean. So I'm just sitting back watching, fam. Like I said, Charleston White. I ain't got no beef with him, but you know it's competition, my nigga. I done heard him say plenty of times that can't nobody in Dallas fuck with me. Matter of fact, he. 
talk. Me and you had the oh, same yeah, time one time. I remember you so, told me about it. Yeah, so he got a name in there. <laughs> so, so me, I'm not mad at that nigga, but, no. I play, but I play the game and I play it good. And I play the game online and outside in real life. You feel me? So yes, yeah, so I just play the but game. But your show my nigga. is centralized around a lot of stuff Man. happening. So people pulling up all the time. He done pulled up on there. Mm -hmm. Everybody done pulled up on your show. That Lathan guy, what's his name? Uh, Van Lathan, Lathan yeah, from TMZ, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, what, White 100 been yeah, we, pulling we just, up lately. We just had Crip Mac over there. Crip Mac was over there. Yeah, I see Yeah, 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 yeah. I was there. I was, I, you, and this, I, you, you know, I, I talked to the nigga when he was locked yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. I hadn't really talked to 55 Crip since he been home, but yeah. I, I rock with the fact of he was helping the homeless and all that. Yeah. How is this nigga doing now versus when he left? Is his buzz still there or is it done disseminated or how is it? How was it? When you when you pulled him up, did a whole bunch of people yeah. pop up? Yeah, well, yeah. The nigga, the nigga, when he came home, I, I got him early when he first you know, he okay. came home, so I knew nigga was kind of buzzing and shit like that, but I mean, you can't look away from a car accident. You know what I mean? That nigga's a car wreck. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah. His, his lingo and shit. Yeah, and, but he a cool dude. Though. I'm gonna say this behind the scenes, talking to him before the show. Nah, he was a cool dude, bro. That's he was real, yeah, he was a cool dude. Nigga had I'm not gonna lie to you, he had an old English we were early course, in the morning, nigga. Course. Early in it was like nigga eleven o'clock in the morning. Nigga was sitting there with an old English, really. And when you see a nigga sitting there with an old English at that early in the morning, you know a nigga stressed the fuck out. Yeah, you know yeah. a nigga mind. He trying bad. to get it popping. He trying yeah. to get everything. Your going. mind is bad if you sitting there with an old English at four o'clock, at, at okay, eleven o'clock in the morning. Okay, for people like me, what is an old? English? That's one of them old gold cans. Yeah, one of them gold and red cans. Uh, one of them, you know, I mean some gold and red cans of wood. Beer, beer, beer. Oh. but it's malt liquor. Yeah, it's when, fact, when you can't afford the slits malt liquor yeah. bull back in the day, you get that one. Yeah, niggas used to drink that Saint Eyes. Remember Got different it. kind of yeah. the, the old Eyes. English, like yeah, really a what, West Coast beer. Everybody drink it everywhere, but you see them West Coast niggas with that old Got English it. most of the time. But uh. Dallas niggas drink that Bud Ice and them 211 still reserved. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dallas nigga wake up early tomorrow with a 211. But uh, nah, I mean, yeah, Crip I'm Mac was cool, bro. Like with him, Wack man. 100 was, Wack 100 was cool. He went back and dissed me the next day on Clubhouse. What? But look, let me tell you something about Wack. Wack, Wack a real nigga though. Because Wack 100 told me that he was going to go back and diss me. Wack 100 told me to go at him during the show. He's texting my phone while we on the show saying, nigga, go harder. Like you fire me up. up. <laughs> like, yeah, nigga, turn this bitch up. You yeah. got to turn this all up. Man, I'm not Wack, wasting my time. Wack want to argue. He want to fight. And mainly he want to debate. Wack want to debate. So we started talking about that OG Bobby Billions and Mo3 shit and Trap Boy How shit. How was that? You know what I mean? Oh, you know him. He stood up for OG Bobby. Oh, anything I say, he going with the opposite. And I was like, nah, I don't think OG Bobby Billions should have you know, you know, worked with the mother niggas. You know what I mean? Uh, after the outside record. He was, oh, fuck that. I got a check for Bobby Billions. Nigga, this, 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 this. Nah, right, nigga, he lied. He said he ain't said cut Bobby Billions that goddamn check. <laughs> you owe Bobby Billions some money, Wack. <laughs> so I mean, you know, with that California culture, mm -hmm. is it is that California culture as you look at it from this perspective? You know, there's a guy that came on my show that's the first openly gay crip, like, and and you seen that? I and seen he been it. he been going around. I Vlad them posted him. Everybody posted. Will, what's his it. name? Tony Will Rich. Tony Will. Rich. Tony Will Rich. And, and you know he, is that the young man they said OG Percy sleeping with well OG uh -huh. Percy took a picture with him yeah I never yeah, heard yeah, that yeah, one yeah, he took a picture with him I don't know if he's sleeping with him. Yeah, I, yeah, I never that. heard that. You heard that? Oh, I'm going to say this. I didn't know who the dude was until somebody was like, hey, Sco, did you hear about this young dude, the OG person sleeping with here, openly gay Fort Worth Crip? And I, I had never knew the dude. I was who like, said that's what, that, So that's man. how, the, you, you know me, when you go look at my inbox, oh, I got the world in that bitch dropping shit in there. I mean, they put Damn. it. So I'm like, what? But who when, is people, this dude? when people telling you all that stuff, because like for me personally, I'm like, okay, where's the proof? Show me the picture. Yeah, see, that's what something I thought. Something like that. I'm thinking, well, maybe it's something else they know. I don't, I have no, no he clue. just took a picture with him. So I don't he just yeah, took a picture with him. So they're not sleeping together. No, they're not, they're not the, hitting Matter of fact, if I remember correctly, he say uh, he say Bob Bob report tricked him into taking that picture with him. Oh, that's what he said. That's what he said. Who said that? Percy said Percy that. Percy see, said. Now, see now, I don't like that kind of shit. See that that made me think they fucking. See, <laughs> the, 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 the right. I don't like that. Don't go come out and say oh, somebody made me do it. Nah, nigga, this ain't made a cool dude, bro. Right here, but he a black dude. He doing his thing. But even, yeah, but even before that picture, because he came on this show before yeah. that picture, and he said that. Um, he had said in an interview that it was okay for him to be a crip. Who said that? OG Percy? OG, OG Percy, Percy yeah. said it was okay for um, Tony Real Rich, who is an openly gay rapper, to be a crip. That's what Tony Real Rich said. That's yeah. what Tony that's Real, that was yeah. his really one of his, one of his certifications. They fucking. Huh? They fucking. I mean, <laughs> come on, man. Look, I want to say, if they was in, in the pen, how would that work in jail? In the, in the pen, it wouldn't work like that, would it? In the pen, you went yeah. to an openly gay nigga. Yeah, you could be a crip. Of course not. You would start fucking on that nigga behind closed doors, probably. You know what I mean? So that's what I thought. Mean, bro, they... 
<laughs> Come on, dog. Stop it, fam. I don't know nothing else about this shit. Like, disgusting, he bro. Got, he got songs and stuff. It, 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 it I haven't heard like of them he, yet. Seems like he's growing. Okay, and, and, look, and what I'm say salute to him, fam. I mean, I might, I might throw him on uh, on one of my female shows one I'm, day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, I, I, I don't have his number. I can get you in touch with Bob Supreme. Mm -hmm. Bob got his number. Bob is his manager. Mm. Bob report. That's a damn shame, man. That's a goddamn shame. This game in this industry is disgusting, bro. And the reason I'm saying that is, bro, because I open, I mean, this is what I'm saying, bro. It ain't about no music and nothing no more, bro. It's about a fucking circus. Uh, you know what I mean? And, uh, ain't uh, not about talent. It ain't about talent no more, man. It's about people will manage anything. Y'all see the two island boys, the two little... Hey, kids, kid, the, line, the, man. I got mad as hell, the, bro. They, they do only Wait, fans bro. porn. Every time I see it, I just take it off. And that's that right there shows hey, bro, you, man. You know how you say it, burn nigga burnt you up when you yeah, see something. Burn you up. Burn you up, man. Burn you up, my nigga. What the hell just happened? Yeah. I it's like real everybody's trying to upstage the next person. Yep. Like, what else can go what wrong? What a nigga will do for clout? That nigga, they know they were losing their buzz yep. and they did that ignorant stuff, violate. That tell you where they'll go. They'll take it anywhere. There anywhere, is bro. no code to what no these code. people are doing, bro. But I, you know, I think that's for the whole game. I think everybody going in that direction. If you notice, when I see niggas do interviews now, niggas don't be they self no more, bro. That niggas be on there just doing the wild. Especially them niggas say cheese niggas over there. Ooh, that, 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 that J Main nigga yeah. over there. That nigga over there just putting on a show every day just saying the weirdest shit you know what I mean just I, I'm like bro this is this is the new trend do an interview and just say the wildest dumbest shit you can say and hope people ask you to do more interviews that's the hustle is it everybody or is it just the young people uh nah it, it, that's the fucked up it's a lot of old niggas that's involved a lot of hey, hey look online it's a lot of old bitches right now butt naked online have y'all noticed this a lot, it's a lot of older women that don't give a damn no more only fans I mean women 50 60 years old oh, they don't give a man, shit no more on, no bro. bro the internet is taking over I ain't over. on there like but that look, I'm gonna say this though this one thing I will say be who you want to be. It don't matter how old you are, no matter what you got going on, be who you want to be. But that internet, bro, everybody wants some of it. Everybody wants the fame and the clout. It don't matter how old you are no more, man. Nobody cares, man. Look at Charleston White now. You could say he one of the most watched niggas in the DFW, right? He get more love than these rap niggas or more, more attention. He, come on, fam. You know what I mean? So it ain't about age or none of that shit no more. It's about clout, attention, fame, views. And like I said, it's women out here, man, in their 50s and 60s. Busting so, but over. hold on, but with all this clout mm -hmm. and Damn. fame and attention, does all of this that you see mm -hmm. happening, does any of this equate to money for some of these people? Probably so. Probably not the kind of money that um, a younger, you know what I mean, female would probably get, but it's attention, it's money. Remember this, Miss Jamaica, it ain't even about money no more. It's about attention and clout and fame. It's niggas out here broke right now, but they known online. People are recognizing their face. can't pay your bills. Can't pay your bills. Niggas see your face, know who you are, but you ain't got a dime to your name. And people that's are cool with that. Niggas are cool. With, but you may tell you something, because that's what life is about. You know, People want money. Why? So you can look a certain way and feel a certain way and people know you and like you, right? Niggas skipping over that. Fuck the money. Let's go straight to the uh, knowing you. That's all they want. Just know me. When you see me, you know what I mean? I don't, I, I'm going to tell you this. I don't even really want to be known like that outside this goddamn internet shit. I like, I like that's why I do my shit a live stream. I stay in the crib with mine. I don't even want to talk to niggas in person that much. I don't even want to be around people that much, bro. So many motherfuckers fake, bro. So much shit out here is, you know what I mean? It's twisted and it's business. People say, man, why don't you do a spot and start interviewing people in person? Nigga, fuck that. That's what, that's, you you saying the same thing that Vlad does. Mm -hmm. He never in the room. With yeah, he never people. in the room. But me, you me tell you something about me. I smoke too much gas, bro. I smoke too much weed. You feel me? I'm, I'm one of the biggest smokers on YouTube. So wherever you put me at, I gotta be. I gotta be able to smoke my weed wherever I'm doing my interviews. If I can't smoke my weed, the show is over. Buy, your own, the channel. buy your own building. You gotta be right. I gotta buy my own building. Yeah, but you can't. I've been kicked out of buildings before. I've been kicked out of buildings before. Don't get it fucked up. You know what I yeah. mean? I've been kicked out of buildings <laughs> because of how much you smoke. Yeah, because of big weed smoke. Me and some of my partners had a little building back in the day. Uh, one of my partners was on MTV too. He was on the Rob and Big show. Yeah. The big black dude, yeah, the white yeah, with yeah, the skateboard. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, we. We had, we had a studio, man, but uh, yeah, the laws and you know, the kicking it in and shit like that, taking everybody to jail and shit. We in that bitch, big blowing, big smoking, Everything. drinking that bitch, sir. But yeah, niggas running in out that motherfucker all night. So anywhere I go, it starts to look like that. I don't know why, fam. Anywhere but, I go, it turns to trouble and shit like that. It starts to look like that. Yeah. I, don't, you know what I, mean? I just want to be yeah, alone. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I don't want to ask trouble. a question. If you even remember how mm -hmm. how this is, describe yourself. Not high. Not high. <laughs> Who are you? Quiet Your personality, as hell at the house, all of that sort of stuff. Looking for blood. Yeah. <laughs> Serious, like. Let me say something. I'm gonna say this. Um, I smoke so much weed. If I'm not high, I start getting memories of being like a young kid again because that's where my brain takes me back to because that's the only time I remember not being high. It's like, now don't get it twisted. I didn't start smoking weed until like later on in life, maybe like 18, 19. Mm -hmm. Like I wasn't a nigga at school high. I was never high at school. 
but I was still the worst nigga at school. So that's, I mean, maybe I should have smoked some weed in school. But uh, yeah, if I, if I don't smoke weed, I start, you know what I mean, having memories and shit when I was younger and shit, like 16, 17. But you don't get irritated. You don't get like, you want to fight because people out. Because that's what no, I hear no, a lot oh, of people oh, no, say. Oh, no. See, let me break it down to you, Mr. Jamaica, how that works. That's what I'm yeah, trying to no, figure okay, out. Okay, that only works for broke niggas, okay? Oh. You only get mad about not being high when you can't get high when you want to. You feel me? See, a nigga like me who got... Uh, you know, who, got, who, got, who got as much as I want I can go a couple of hours without blowing and shit like that you know what I mean I okay. smoke whatever fuck I want to smoke I got, you know what I mean I got, hey, same one. you know what I'm saying yeah, yeah. <laughs> that nigga know what I'm saying yeah, you know what I'm saying yeah. I, I, I got a lot of it yeah you know? yeah yeah it ain't no game so, yeah, so I, if I can't smoke for a while, I'm cool. I mean, I can smoke whenever I want to. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't do shit all day. I got to start doing something in my life, though. That's one thing about it. I got to do something. I don't do shit all you day. You got to do something with his life. I do absolutely nothing with my life, fam. I don't do nothing. Like, every day I wake up. Go I wake, have some more kids. I wake up. No, 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 keep you very preoccupied. Y'all said I brought my two last time. I'm fucking dead ass out the door. I'm almost done with They're older. You need some younger ones. Nah, I can't do it. I'm done. I'm out the game. You know what I mean? You got a girl? No, I don't have a girl. See, Maybe that's what you girl. need. Yeah, I don't no, have a girl. She'll keep you preoccupied. Bro, I don't do none of that. Just do what you're doing. I'm going to tell you that right now. <laughs> he bored. He ain't bored. He'll be all right. That's my guy. We don't want to lose Scope TV. All that, they go to tripping. It yeah. might not go right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I'm going to say this. The thing about it is, is that um, I feel like, you know what I mean? In life right now, bro, you got to focus on your money, man. You know what I mean? Sometimes I put, in your, I, mean, I, I put too much attention into a woman, I think, earlier already. You know what I'm talking about? Young nigga, kids and shit like that. So now, nah, man, I don't even care. I don't, I don't, man. I'm trying to get my money right, bro. I'm just trying to let you know, me have a good time. I'm trying to have sex with as many as bitches as I can. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm just, I'm man, just, I'm keep on it. You know I, mean? gotta, I gotta get you off that subject and on to this other one, man. Uh, Big Pokey, man, passed away, man, on stage. That was a, you, you uh, being an artist. Um, you know, how detrimental was that? That was fucked said? up, man. I knew Big Pokey. I mean, I met him a couple of times. Of course, running with Lil Flip, yeah, in for Houston. Sure. Um, I gave him his flowers while he was here. I got a chance to say that. That's thing. hard. Yeah, I got I got a chance to tell him how dope he was. Man, you want the you want the OGs? I got it on video too, man. That was this That's was back hard. in two thousand nine. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, I got even before he started losing weight, he was still, yeah, he was he, still yeah, big. Yeah, 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 yeah. He lost yeah, weight. Yeah, but now nah, that's sad, man. They, you know what I mean? He was one of the coolest niggas that seemed like in Houston. Young. Yeah, man. Yeah. I, I and he that. had a wife and two kids. Right. And then the way he died. You no, know, nowadays yeah. we, we, we like we get to see everybody when they die. You know, yeah. Some shit ain't supposed yeah. to be seen, but yeah. right. but, but he died doing what he loved. That's and sometimes the bad thing is that everybody will see before even the wife, the kids, and so forth. You understand what mm -hmm. I mean? Because they they might not be watching social media, but everybody else hear about this person yeah. dying before they even can tell the immediate family. That's yeah. the bad part about it. Mm -hmm. What kind of music, man? Like like, it, it, are you listening to nowadays? Like when you? Oh uh, man, I'm going. I went back to the old school. You, know, you, I, ain't, you ain't messing with that rap. Uh, right, I mean, it's, a, it's uh, old school rap. Yeah, a lot of new cats. I, I, I check out, but I'm not fucking with none of it, bro. This shit is trash. I'm not gonna lie to you. These what young about niggas NBA can't rap. Young boy. I mean, oh, he the internet and it go yeah. crazy, bro. Yeah, that's type of shit my son and them like, but I don't like that. NBA young boy, Playboy Cardi, you know what I mean? So I don't fuck with none of it. It's just not, you know what I mean? It's just, I can't, but I don't even understand how this shit saying. You see how when it hit the internet, how this, mm. that whole go, man, that whole go to a, a gazillion views in like one minute. No, no, nah, it, it do. Bro, you know I'm, I mean? but, I'm, it's unbelievable yeah. to me. I'm like, what the hell? I'm out the game when it comes to the uh, the brand. Like, like I said, I listen to a lot of the new artists, to get, you know what I mean, just to give them a chance to hear them. But man, the shit they be talking about, I be like, yeah, I'm old. You know what I mean? I'm officially OG in the game. I don't understand that shit. I don't feel that shit. Half these niggas ain't. And I'm going to say, I'm going to keep it 1,000. But these niggas ain't rap. Come on, fam. I know you ain't. You a G in the game. These niggas ain't rapping like that no more. There ain't no Ice Cubes and no Tupacs out there no more, dog. You dig? So what, what do that's you the think, era we come from, what man. What do you think about Big X the Plug? He's, he's here. He's the main dude that's killing the game right now for Dallas. He is the guy when you talk about rap music it's Big X to plug and nothing. Well, you got Kev, got bands. They've yeah, been yeah. on here and then you got you uh, sound like, hold on, then you, you got like who Dallas. else? It's one more. Mm. It's one more. Oh, Bobby Johnson, mm -hmm, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, you, you got these artists what are you? What are you thinking? What are you seeing? What are you? Like what are you Bumpy hearing? Guy. I ain't gonna lie. I do like that that cut Bumpy Johnson guy and Big the X the plug. The one he performed on here. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 Okay. I, I, I love that cut he got. And Big X the plug. He hard too. Big X the plug hard. You know what I mean? But uh, I'm gonna say this: Do I see? Do I see it going? How far is it gonna go? I, I, I want to see Big X make it. I want to see a lot of these niggas shine. 
But man, I want to see. I think Texas ain't never had like no Kanye West or no. You know, what I mean? we never had that artist who you could say, man, this nigga sell records anywhere. Like they could play that shit on any station. You feel that's when you know you hard, nigga. Is when they playing that shit like wherever. Drake. Like Fifty Cent in Jay-Z. the club, nigga. You feel me? Yeah. Club. We ain't never had one of them niggas yet. So I hear the big ex the plugs. I hear the cats we got coming out in Dallas. I rock with them. I want to see my city win. But I haven't seen no nigga who I'm saying, oh, he finna take over the world. I ain't seen that yet. But I did with a young nigga named Melvin Noble. You feel me? Okay. It was a young nigga named Melvin Noble. Okay. I don't know if y'all heard of him yet. <laughs> you know what I mean? He gone now. But rest in peace to Mo3. That was one of the first cats I said, oh, yeah, he could take us far. He could take us further than just this. You know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah it most definitely rest in peace to, you know what I mean, to Mo3, man. So, I feel like he had that, 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 you know what I mean, the singing, the rapping, the harmonizing, the, the fast, the slow. He could do it all. I ain't you seen a nigga so, like that in a while. So did hip hop take? Did we? Did it nosedive once he passed? Yeah, most definitely. But the city, it, it the, took a, no, the, the, the city, nosedive. yeah, the city went down. Man, on top of that, it split the city up. So now you got niggas who rock with Mo Three who don't rock with other cats now because they're such big fans of Mo Three. So yeah, Mo Three just dying. And not saying that nobody in the rap game has anything to do with the death of Mo Three. You know what I mean? Just saying that you know when it comes to just uh, you know how, how it was, either you rock with them or rock with them. So at the end of the day, man, your Dallas is most definitely divided. That Earl Spence fight. That we don't mean no Mo three fan fucked with Earl Spence in that fight. All Mo you're, three that's fans. That's why you say that's where it come from. The, all the all the jokes and yeah. all the laughter and all the niggas was like, bro. You know what I mean? Calls I got when Earl Spence lost. And niggas laughing. Ah, I mean, niggas crying like niggas really? popping bottles and shit. Yeah, niggas was like, bro. I got over twenty calls with niggas who was excited and happy that Earl Spence lost. I got a question. You know how when Earl Spence lost, mm-hmm. Rainwater posted a video of Mo, Mo three, three laughing. laughing. But he said, do that? you think that the reason why he posted it was because of the Fight and because he lost, of course, Rain would have the nigga to lose. <laughs> Hell yeah, Rain was Rain man, said what yeah. for that? That wasn't right. Rain lying Some like else. a motherfucker, man. <laughs> Rain what else was going on, man? <laughs> Rain posted yeah. that video just in time. You noticed that, right? Yeah, he's Rain would have did that shit on purpose, man. Cover, man was nah, right. nah, yeah, it was nah, nah. Yeah, I mean, we ain't no secret, y'all. We, I mean, we was on my show the other night, and they asked Rain They said, "So why was Earl Spin speeding off like that when we wrecked the when we wrecked the car?" Rain Warren said, "Man, he had to get the fuck up out of there." That's all I'm gonna say. Rain do shit like that on purpose. Oh, damn. Rain like, like, Rain, like, like Rain gonna go make sure he on his internet, you know what I mean? Push, you know what I mean? Push it a little bit. So, I mean, you know what I mean? So, yeah. But you, what's what wrong? I'm gonna say, was Rain water happy that uh that Earl Spence lost? Nigga, hell yeah. Hell yeah, he was happy. That was his partner. You used to be his partner, though. Hey, I man. see. I got pictures of them niggas hanging out, hugging hey, yeah, each yeah, other, bro. Hey, it was, it was, it's pictures of me and, and other niggas, too. You can find that we was once cool. I mean, niggas who I ain't, I'm sure I ain't cool. Niggas who I ain't talked to in a while who I, I ain't probably cool with. So, um, you can find a picture of all kind of niggas. That don't mean it's y'all rocking that day. That, that the, the internet has caused a great divide. Mm-hmm. When you think about it, the internet caused a great divide in a lot of relationships out here because niggas be talking on this internet. Yeah. And it, it just be like, ba 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 ba. And next thing you it's know, it's over. not even just the internet. People gonna grow apart. But they do it faster yeah. with the internet. I'm oh, yeah, telling yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, the internet. It, the it internet fast forward that old man. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. the get on there, as soon as something over, like laughing or anything, niggas gonna be like, man, you know, I never seen so many memes when this man. Yeah. Pa- I was not against him winning, bro. Nah, I actually neither. was like, damn, you know, hopefully this nigga can bring it home for Dallas. I felt that way too. I feel like, man, hopefully this nigga can bring it home for Dallas. But like I said, when it comes down to the sport, and to the money end of it, if a nigga says go, we got 20 bands right now, I feel like in just the sport of box, it's like with the, with the Cowboys versus another team. If you know that team finna beat the Cowboys, it is what it is. That's how I felt with this. I said, man, Crawford, I feel like this nigga got a little bit more, man. I just feel like he a little more dangerous. When we looked up and I seen Big X the plug walk Earl Spence out, that was dope. I like that. But when I looked up and seen that white boy Eminem come out, it was over with. I, you know, <laughs> the nigga lost in my mind right there. When you look up and see Eminem was coming out with Bud, it was a nigga. They showed where they minds was at. Yeah. They showed they, they, that they mind. Right? That. He thinking about the local shit, putting the city on. This nigga thinking about nigga, I'm finna take over the world, nigga. You know what I mean, you feel I me? Mean? Fuck Omaha, nigga. I'm finna, I'm finna show the world, nigga. Brought Eminem with him. So yeah. to me, I just felt like, man, you know. Man, you know what I mean? Um, Hats off to it, man. You know what Earl should have came out to, though? What? Earl should have came out to that goddamn Mo3, to the outside. He should have came out to that Mo3, to the outside. You may tell you why? Because it would have showed, everybody in the world don't know what's going on in Dallas, but it would just showed the city that, oh, man, nigga, oh, man, he on some different time at night, nigga, you know what I mean? We outside. He should have came, Earl Spence, you should have came out to that Mo3 Damn. fam. 
come out to that Mo three. Big X the plug still with us. I mean, he, I mean, he, he, he popping. He'll be around for a while, I'm sure. But you should have came out to Mo three, Earl Spence. I ain't gonna lie, fam. It would have set a different tone. It would have set a different tone. Yeah, especially for the city. It would, I mean, you could have still had Trap Witchy, Yellow, Big X the plug. Everybody walked you out there with that Mo three plan. That would have showed because everybody always talking about this unity shit, right? But you know, this niggas only want unity when it comes to they, to, they, to what they want. You feel me? Yeah. <laughs> niggas, I mean, oh, y'all didn't support Earl Spence, niggas. What about the niggas who all laughed when Mo three died? You did, ha, 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 niggas, all, niggas all put him on shirts and laughed, had a great time. But now y'all want to be upset because Earl Spence lost. But this nigga died, and a lot of niggas sit around and laughed at that shit. So at the end of the day, what I'm saying is, Dallas, let's yeah. not be picky. Let's all stand together on everything, not just what the fuck you niggas want. And that's what I'm seeing. Niggas yeah. only want you to be Dallas when it comes to the shit they like. Like, nah, if we're going to be Dallas, the same niggas that's upset Earl Spence Everything lost, Dallas. be upset that Mo3 is dead. That's all I'm saying. If, if we Dallas. Remember, everybody keeps saying we Dallas. Yeah. That shit is a lie. Dallas ain't shit. It ain't, it ain't, fam. This city ain't never been shit when it came to rap. Nigga, how this niggas is Post Malone and Vanilla Ice? Let's stop playing, bro. Post Malone and Vanilla, Man, Vanilla Ice? I'm not knocking nobody in the city, bro, but I hate when niggas say, hey, let's all come together and do this and do that. Bro, we've tried over and over and over again. I come from the, let's get something straight. I'm from the old school in Dallas, right? I'm not, I'm not one of these new niggas, fam. I, I was the first nigga ever to put Dallas on world star hip hop. Damn. You feel me? I, I come from the old school in, in, in this business. And I've always watched Dallas niggas want that opportunity. Like, Houston got it. But when niggas get it, they don't really do nothing with it. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, always, it's always your own city against you. When I was in it, in it, like, for instance, when I was doing shit out here in Dallas, right, I'm helping niggas out. I'm hanging posters for niggas. I'm doing A&R work for niggas. I'm rapping, doing my thing. It took niggas from Houston to come down here and peep games. This nigga a hustler. Come back with us. Damn. Dallas niggas just watched me and say shit. They was all worried about their own shit. A Houston nigga came down here and before I even got down with Lil, before I signed with Lil Flip, Big Red and, and Michael Watts from Swisher House had me running around with Lil Young doing shows and shit. So even before I was with Flip, I was running around with Swisher House for a minute. So I mean, I'm not for sure what it is about Houston where they got so many stars and they so together like that. But in Dallas, nigga, we have nothing like that. And I grew up in Houston working with Lil Flip and them niggas and I was always jealous of the, you know what I mean, of the, uh, the, unity. the, the unity they got out there. Bro, that unity is crazy fam mm -hmm. you come back out here bro the, from the djs to the size of towns to the hoods everybody got their own shit you feel nobody really fucks with this nigga but that nigga this nigga because the radio don't really just play the local music on the level they do down in houston because they play the hell out their music down there. well i'm gonna say this even remember about you, you name niggas like dj screw and certain oh man yeah they don't even matter even if the radio was gonna play them niggas the underground they were gonna, scene play down there was gonna still play it regardless okay. bumping it out the trunks the bazaars they was gonna still play that shit regardless and that's how little Flip came up. You know what I mean? He came on the game. Underground tape. Selling them bitches out the trunk, going everywhere with it, and the city standing with him, supporting them. You know what I mean? He got the whole screwed up clique behind him. He got this and that. He would come to Dallas and get more love in Dallas than a nigga who rap from Dallas would get. Mm. You feel me? Yeah, I ain't never seen Mr. Lucci and Mr. Pookie get the kind of love that Flip would get when he would come out here. So that's just how it is. And why? Because everything is cut off. These niggas over here don't fuck with them niggas over there. Them niggas over there don't fuck with them niggas. Them, them niggas over there, you know what I mean? That's how Dallas is, they bro. Built it up that way. That's how it is. I hate it's like that, bro. But we're going to be honest. Let's be honest, bro. How can we fix it? it ain't no fucking way to fix it, nigga. This shit is over with. <laughs> next <laughs> lifetime, like Eric Badu said. <laughs> <laughs> it's over with. You said the next lifetime. Yeah, man, man, I won't live to see it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I won't live to see it, bro. I so won't live to see how it. How big would it be if Big X to plug put a group of niggas together to do a, somewhat of a semi remix to We From Texas. I've been thinking about that. Man, they need a Mo3 verse on that bitch. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah, they're gonna, they gonna need to go to Rainwater and be like, hey, Mo3 uh, on that. For real. Bro, that's, a, that, that's yeah. the only thing that can hit. The only thing that's gonna uh, heal some wounds, bro, is for some niggas to come out and say that man is yeah. gone. And yeah, we and we, you know, what I mean, because Trap Boy Freddie missed the shit out of Mo Three. He just won't say it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you know I mean, and when I say he missed him, I mean, yeah, he might have some beef in the street. Shit might have been did like this and like that. But when he look at the entertainment game, he like, damn, bro. When that nigga was here, we was all turning the fuck up. You know what I mean? And Trap Boy, Yella, Mo3, Go Yayo, man, that was it. When Go Yayo come that was home, it. they gonna change the temperature? Can man, I don't I know, mean, man. I mean, Twisted Black just came home. Yeah. I don't know how it's gonna change the temperature or if he, he's still even rapping. I heard a, a little bit of Skibbit or something with uh, Vega, Smooth Vega. Yeah, Smooth Vega. Who the Smooth Vega? I heard, I heard a little, little bit of music, but like, when Go Yayo comes home, will that do anything for the hip hop? I, I mean, I don't, I, I can't say, man. Go Yayo is kind of a wild nigga. You know what I mean? All over the place with it. I don't know, man. I, I know one, at one point in time, like I said, Dallas had a good look. You know what I mean? Dallas had all them young niggas from 03 to Go Yayo to, uh, you know what I mean? To uh, to uh, Yellow Bees to the Trap. 
to all them cats, but they had a squad, bro. You know what I mean? Dream team, four-headed monster. That's where it went wrong, bro. You know what I mean? Had, we had that lineup we've been looking for. We had them niggas who could all did their thing on different levels, but now that's dead. That's gone. Mo3 dead. Uh, Trap Boy Freddy, you know, he got a case. Look like he might be getting ready to go sit down. Yellow Beezy, I mean, he, he, he cold as ice. You know what I mean? His, his shit ain't hitting like that no more. Not knocking him. The nigga could put some records together. You know what I mean? But right now, that shit ain't coming off like it was. Um, big X the plug popping right now, but for how long? You know what I mean? That's a big fat ass nigga. He ain't no Diddy behind him. You know what I mean? Like you, you, know, you, know, you get what I'm saying, fam. You get what I'm saying. I get it, you, 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 you know what I'm saying? Come on. Yeah, but if I'm an A and R, we in the room. Look, look what we doing here. We got this big ass nigga. He rap decent. You know what I mean? But what we gonna do with him, fam? Let's see. What I mean, let's let's do something with him. And yeah, you, I mean, you know how you you been in them rooms. I've been in them rooms. I've been in the meetings. I know what's going on. <laughs> so yeah, man, I, I do. I like Big X. Yes, I like Big X to play. I think the nigga jamming, bro. You did, but can he take us to that worldwide level? I'm not for sure. But do I like Big X? I like Big X to play. I like a lot of niggas in Dallas, bro. I am a fan of Dallas rappers. I'm just not a fan of niggas' attitude and, and you know what I mean the way they, they they treat the business outside. You know what I mean. Uh, or when they treat the, the, the way they treat other niggas in Dallas in this business, yeah. because niggas will go out of town and show love by verses. You know what I mean? People come to town. You notice when I never forget one day I was doing the ninety seven point nine freestyle battle back in the day. Super K head crack. Kill the niggas. I'm up there killing shit. I win the battle. They say Ludacris is on his way upstairs. You know what I mean? He finna do an interview. I'm I'm turned the fuck off. Hey, this Luda fam, this is it. They make me lead the run. They put me out. They don't want you they to put me out. They, they make me go out the back, though. Go downstairs. Your little coming up here. I'm like, y'all, let me. Let me try I just, to I just, it I, right? I just killed them. That's how Dallas is, bro. When, when people come to Dallas, man, Dallas really don't. Really don't. They don't show me. love to Dallas. Yeah, like I said, I'm from the old school. I don't want to hear no none of you young niggas telling me shit. I mean, I, I've been here since back in the day, fam. I've been here. So I watched this shit. Let me ask you this, and I'm going to go back to your show, man. Like, who you got coming up? You done had Wack 100. You mm -hmm. done had Ben Latham. You done had all these people. Yeah. Who you got coming up uh, or anything? You had Crip, man. Yeah. I'm, uh, next, uh, let me see. I think I think we got Michael Blackson coming up soon. He coming up soon. Because he's going to be in town, too. Yeah, I got my, I'm, right now we got that in the works. I'm sure I'll pull, I'm sure I'll pull that together. Um, man, other than that, man, I'm going to say this. These are the, the, the people I want on my show are not celebrities. Do you know the people I want on my show are people that's involved? Let's say tomorrow a nigga gets shot at this corner store over here, right? Yeah, you be pulling up on the Yeah, 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 nigga, nigga, uh, uh, <laughs> I need you on the show, my nigga. Yeah. If, if you got shot at the corner, let's say your brother got killed at the corner store, right? It's all over the news and shit. And you want to come on my show and, and put your cash app up, try to help the family, try to help with the funeral and shit, kind of tell us who he was and shit. Then the guests I want, I want the guests that's, that's hard, not famous. Man. You that's feel hard. me? I want the stories that's trending out there in the world. You the Geraldo, nigga. I'm the black Geraldo, Geraldo fam. I told nigga. you, nigga. I know you told me that I see what you're I'm doing the black Geraldo, nigga. Damn. Damn. Man, how can people get a hold of you, man, if they trying to reach out, man? You just did a dope show, nigga. Man. That energy be on point. Yeah, man. Uh, everybody know, man, just say no to scope. You know what I mean? Instagram, Facebook, uh, YouTube. Um, you know what I mean? Just go find me, man. When you see my show on at nighttime, bro, we in there just kicking it. I am... I, I'm not famous. I'm just a I'm just a nigga on the internet. That's my name. I'm just a nigga online. Yeah, online. But pull up to my show and let's chop it up like everyday black people, like adults. Let's sit down, and put some of these conspiracies to bed. Let's light some of this good gas up. Let's do it. Half of my chat don't go to church anyway, so so Sunday is a perfect day. You know what I mean to go live? I always start my week off with Sunday. We go live. We turn that bitch up. Yeah, my chat is full of shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Them niggas smoking Reggie and K2 and CBD all night. Man, but yeah, man, but, not, always but I can't do it without man. the chat. I can't do it without them fam. I can't do it without the scope. Gang, all my moderators, everybody that show me love on the show, man. I got a dope following. That's one thing about me. Yeah. Some niggas can have yeah. more subscribers than me, but man, them people I got, they rock with me. They kill for me, nigga. They, they cut somebody motherfucking throat. I remember me, when nigga. Big D told <laughs> first told me says a nigga named Sko on there, man. He pulling up. He got twenty eight hundred, yeah, three thousand people. He was warning y'all niggas. He on the way. Let me know. He was telling me know. I said, Sko, I'm gonna figure it out. Then they said that nigga be liking your show. I said, I got to holler at that nigga, man. I always came in the show, love show, Joe shit. Yeah, you know what I, mean? yeah, I love up. it, man. Yeah, 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 next thing I know, I'm up here. You know Come what on, man. So, yeah, bro. Come, Come on, man. man. Come man, on, man. hey man, thank you for coming on the show, man. man salute, salute to you, man, Miss Jamaica, man. Y'all platform man. steady building, y'all steady doing big shit. We you want to get these you niggas, my motivation, man. Nigga. We finna get these when niggas. I see you do some these shit. I got trouble. Up. I got some big stuff coming, and you watch. I'm yeah. gonna get these niggas. Yeah. This. By the, by the first of the year, we finna flip this whole game. Sko gang going with us, man. Trill talk, Salute. no peel talk going Salute. with us, man. Salute, man. Hey, Salute. Mama Scott going with us, man. Let's turn this bitch up, man. Salute, salute. <laughs> Check it, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101 where the bosses talk. And we out.